Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Peter Silva. We're here in Barcelona for Mobile World Congress in Hall 5, booth G11. If you're at the show, please come on by and see me. I'm fortunate to have Peter Naz here. He's a senior solution architect here in EMEA. Thanks, Peter, for joining me. Thank you, Peter. Thanks for having me here. So one of the things I was wondering, so um, you know, in the States, I'm on, I'm on a you know, Verizon network with my mobile phone, LTE, yet when I get off the plane here, I immediately jump on another carrier's network. And, and that's what's called LTE roaming, isn't it? That's correct, yeah. So it's, it's, it looks very simple to a lot of people, and that's how it should be. But there's a lot of activity be, yeah, behind it, and that's why we help us at Five with our SDC, our signaling delivery control, to make sure that if you turn on your phone, that the, the network recognizes, hey, that's a stranger to this network, and where do I need to route it to? So we help to route that message to back to Verizon. And then the Verizon network will say, hey, that's Peter. Is he allowed to use that service? So first of all, they will check if it's you. And then the next thing is, are you allowed to use data roaming while you are in Spain? And the answer is yes. And then, okay, you will get that information back into this network here, wherever you are. And then you can start using the service. But then also your data, your voice, your data, everything needs to be routed back to the Verizon network that also needs to be taken care of. But it might be that Verizon says, okay, we have a friendly agreement with, let's say, Telefonica, and we want you to be sure that you're on the Telefonica network because we have a better deal with them or we have better quality. That's another thing we could do. We could steer the Verizon customers to one specific network and make sure that, yeah, you have the best benefits of it. So there's a lot of things behind it, and the only thing that you are worried about, you turn on your telephone and it's working. And it doesn't matter, is it does, it, does it matter whether it's voice or data? Because back in the olden days, right, like there was sort of one signal for voice and then potentially another you know, signal for data. These days, it kind of doesn't matter, does it? We are getting there. So if you look to today's situation, uh, there are hardly any um, voice over LTE roaming live. So it means your voice is still using typically a 3G or 2G, 3G network. So that is like in the old days and that will still be there for quite a long time. But the data that's managed in the data roaming and still you have data roaming, which is back off, that's called from here back to the US and then goes to internet. But with voice over LTE, that is soon to happen, so it's, it's happening in different networks, but roaming for voice over LTE, you have different ways of doing that. So one of the things is you could have local breakout. That means here you're in Spain, and then if you call somebody, and even for data it could happen, that you could go directly to the person. So if you and I will be calling, it doesn't make sense to send the, uh, the traffic all the way back to the US, to the Netherlands, while we are just a meter apart. So that kind of local breakout, that makes sense. And for voice over LTE, that becomes a possibility, and then you can start using it for data. Now, one of the one more thing I noticed is um, now typically, like on my phone, when it, we have to kind of dial the country codes. Yeah. But then, you know, the other night, for instance, I was at a restaurant looking at a menu and needed to call back to my wife to see what she wanted, and I literally just hit her, you know, number on my phone without having to dial the country codes, which seemed kind of interesting to me. How does that work? Oh, that, I would say that can be very handset uh, specific. So, typically, as a as a European, I'm very used uh, to, to travel, so I put everything with the country code in my phone book. So this is like, okay, I, I never really think about it, but there are different devices who could say, okay, when you're roaming, they detect the network, and then they, if it's not um, apparent, then they will add it automatically. Sometimes you also have a network function that where they will see that, okay, you are now in Spain, and then there is like a, a, an enhancement that Verizon could say, okay, you're now in Spain, so I need to add the plus one to get back to the US. So it's like there are different ways how to do it, but that's network intelligence. And yeah. the nice thing is that you don't need to be worried about it because if you look yeah. back a few years, then if you didn't use the international code, then people were trying, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but now it's taken away. So it's, yeah, they made them very nice for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then specifically, where, where would a, the F5 solution sit within a provider's network to make all this work between countries? So we, are, we can be used at different places. So our solution is called uh, signal delivery control. It can be the core of the network. So you have different parts. Okay, you have, um, let's say, a, a radio network and a, a core network. And inside that core, you need to make sure that you get to an HSS to, to be authenticated to get your profile. That diameter signaling is one part that we do. But for the roaming case, we will be also at the edge of the network to make sure that you can route to an IP carrier, an IP ah, exchange. I see. And then on the other side, you could have another SDC uh, to make sure that you hide the network topology, that you secure the links, and then in that network you need to route to the HSS, and again there could be a, a diameter router. So there are different places where 
we are being used. And in fact, that's also what we are being used for. So most of our customers are using us for exactly for those cases. And there are many more use cases, but the typical case is inside the network, at the edge for roaming, even at IP scary in between, then again at the edge, and then at the end in the core network. And in a, in a typical big IP data deployment, you know, the big IPs stay in communication with each other to you know, understand the health of the systems behind them. I imagine the SDCs do that too. Yeah, so what you have is you have diameter peers. So the, the network works there in a different way. So if an SDC or a peer is not live, not active, then you will see it because you have a relation between the different boxes. And if that peer is not yeah, existing or it's overloaded, then you will find automatically an alternative. So the network is taking care of that. That's really fascinating stuff. I love being here at Mobile World Congress because there's so many new things that I learn while I'm here. Thank you very much, Peter. Okay. So a, a lot more about uh, the LTE roaming, both from a technological standpoint, but also how F5, S SDC signaling. Delivery controller. Signaling delivery controllers help manage that traffic. For Peter, making your first appearance on the show, welcome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and I got my good buddy Jonathan behind the lens again. <clears throat> Thanks, Jonathan. I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.